Hi, this is Yi Hui. I'm the author of the R Package Knitter. In this video, I'm going to introduce very briefly to you how Knitter works with Markdown and LaTeX. So if you are an absolute beginner, I'd like to recommend you to start with RStudio. After you have installed RStudio, you also need to install the R Package Knitter, which you can do here. And after that, you can change the RStudio option here as weave from the default as weave to knitter. Now R Studio will call knitter to compile the documents. So we can get started from the menu file new R Markdown to create a new R Markdown document. So here I'm using an existing example. So if you are not familiar with the syntax of R of Markdown, you can click the button MD to get a quick reference of how you can how you can write markdown documents so the important thing here is that we can embed our code inside an, a markdown document the syntax is three backticks followed by a pair of curly braces then for with a little r inside the curly braces after that we can write our code and after we have finished the r code we can close the chunk using three backticks so inside this code chunk, we can actually press Control and Enter to send the R code into the R console so that we can play the R code before we compile the whole document. Besides the R code chunks, we can also embed in R code expressions. So the syntax is one backtick followed by little r followed by a space, then close this expression by another backtick. So for example, we, we will be able to see the value of pi later after we compile this document. So after we have finished this document, we can click the button need HTML to evaluate the code and show the results. For example, 1 plus 1 is 2, 0.4 minus 0.7 plus 0.3 is not exactly 0, which is not surprising. And here we have a few lines to draw some plots, but the plots were not shown here because we have set the chunk option evaluate to false, and we can also change that to true so that this chunk can be evaluated. So if we need HTML again, we will be able to see the plots here. So besides Markdown, we can also work with LaTeX. So here is an example of the LaTeX document with R code embedded in it. So LaTeX document is nothing but a couple of backslashes. So we can begin the document with document class article, begin document, then embed an R code chunk here. The syntax is slightly different. We, we begin the code chunk with less than, less than, followed by the chunk label, then a couple of chunk options, then greater than, greater than, equal. So this is the header of a code chunk, and then followed by some R code, and then we close this chunk by at. Similarly, we can also write inline R expressions here. So now, instead of an HTML document, we can get a PDF document by clicking compile PDF. So here you can see the output of the R code, including the numerical results or the plots. So besides RStudio, we can also use Knitter in other editors. For example, here is a leaks document. We can set this document to use the Knitter module so that the R code inside this leaks document will be compiled as well. So after a single click of the button, we can also see the PDF output. We have mentioned the chunk options. You can go to the website of the Knitter package and uh, click options. So here we can, you will be able to see a whole bunch of chunk options which you can use to get very fine control of your output. Knitter has a very flexible design that it can work with other document formats like HTML or restructured text and also it works with other languages like Python, Arc and uh, hopefully you can get an idea of how you can avoid copy and paste with Knitter. So this is all I have for you. 
I hope you can enjoy this package. Thank you.